Scott and Kyle's reviews, a look into the world of cool electronic gizmos and games that fly just under the radar of the general public. And now, here is Scott and Kyle. Well, here it is, finally. Retrofit Generations. Roughly the size of an NES Classic. If I had one, or actually, if I could find one, i show that to you, too. But, unfortunately, they're hard to find. Now, this came out, I believe, in November of last year. This being 2017, of course. Anyway, it's a plug-and-play. It's got two USB ports in front, which let it use RetroBits style Sega Genesis 6 buck controllers. Now on the back, we have an SD card slot for saving your game saves, HDMI port, and the old school RCA type connectors, and your power plug. Now I've noticed when you plug this in to HDMI, it's a bit of a slowdown actually, maybe a, like a what you would call a lag in games, but if you use these right here, these will give you better gameplay. And more later on about the SD card slide. Now this has over 100 games built into it. And that's not just Nintendo games. That's Sega Genesis, Nintendo, Super NES, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, arcade games, and they actually licensed games, believe it or not. From Capcom, IRM, and stuff like that. There's also some stuff from um, Nintendo games that didn't come out yet, or didn't come out in the U.S., such as uh, Holy Diver, which is really like a Castlevania type game, and there are some Japanese games from Super Nintendo that were never released in the U.S. Also, there are games that were pu weren't published yet, but they were kind of... Um, in video game limbo, so to speak, that um, this other company decided, hey, let's buy the license to these and put this on the system. So let's plug it in and see how it works. But before I do that, I figured I should show you the controller. Yes, it's a uh, Sega Genesis style. You got your six buttons there, start, and your mode button. This works pretty good. I've heard uh, online that everybody thinks these are mushy, but it's really not too terrible at all. Just that, that retro feel buttons are nice, solid, and clicky. I like clicky buttons, some people don't, but they work rather well. And it's long, 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 long controller wire on here, as opposed to the Nintendo Classic, which is a teeny tiny little short. Well, anyway, on with the games. Okay, so now we're going to attempt to do this one-handed. Let's try it out, since I'm using my cell phone, which I apologize for. But, um, can't find the camera anywhere. Anyway, let's power up. Now it takes a while. <laughs> there we go. And once it loads up, you can see these various Nintendo games. Nice little menus. Now they included a Game Boy version and the Nintendo version of Average Chicken. Not one of the best games, but pretty okay. I mean, it's nice to have both. And if you press left or right, they'll skip full pages of menus. And there's a hundred plus games on here. Like, for instance, there's the Holy Diver game I was talking about. Now you press the A button, and it brings you to your game menu. Now the options on this, you can start your game, you can actually save three slots of save. I don't have my card, my SD card in here, but it will save to the system too, as well. Now you got your settings. In your settings, you can change your sound output, which is just volume. Uh, button mapping, you can change your button mapping on both controllers anything you really want but we're not going to do that because it's pretty much set up well to play the games you can change your screen size if I hit the right button that is 
And you can change your screen size. You can scale it so it'll be scaled down a little bit. Full screen, which stretches it out. Like on old Nintendo games, they look kind of wacky because they're stretched out. But you put it original size. Uh, you get that square looking game screen. But I prefer it stretched out because I just do. It fills up the screen and it's nice. So let's start the game by pressing A, of course. And this is an iron game. And I'm gonna suck at this, by the way. Especially one handed. It's a Castlevania style game, but it is a bit harder than an actual Castlevania game. But we'll try it out. And as you can see, it runs full speed. No control of the leg at all. And there we go. And it runs rather well. Even though I can't play one-handed. <laughs> well, there we go. Now, to get out of this menu, then back to the main menu, I'm going to hit Mode and Start. It'll bring back to your menu. And there you can actually save the progress of your game if you'd like. But I'm not going to. You can hit Exit and go back to the main menu. And there's tons of games on here that run rather well. Some of the arcade games are a bit laggy. Let's see if we can find an arcade game for you. Alright, let's see. Boy, this is running smoothly, huh? Alrighty, let's see what we got here. It's going to be a jump cut, trust me. <laughs> Alright, finally found that arcade game. Anywho, this is Ghouls and Ghosts. And it's the actual arcade version. Let's start this game up and let's see what it looks like. And it takes a while to get through it. Blowing up all the system. Now, if those of you out there are familiar with um, meme emulation, it turns on the, the emulated circuit board. And there we go. Now, to add quarters in here, I'm going to hit the mode button to add quarters to your machine. Alright, and we'll press start. And it runs a tad slow. But come on, for the price you pay for this system, you include all these games, games you wouldn't be able to play. It's just an awesome experience. And remember, I'm doing this actually through HDMI, so it will be a little bit faster if you hook it up to the old school connectors. Anyway, that's the basics. But remember when I said 100 games? Well, 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 well. Check this out. With a memory card slot, there's a little file that was released online. Uh, apparently by somebody within RetroBits company or something like that. Anyway, it's called Keybin. And um, I'll leave a link so you can get to the article where I got the link from. And, um, we'll show you what it can do. Alrighty, so I'm using a 30, if I turn it the right way. So I'm using a 32 gigabyte SD card. Now 
plug it into the back. Alrighty, we'll plug it into the back. Give it a second to read, it'll say card in. Now here's the cool trick. If you press the B button after you load your games and stuff like that. Yes, load games. There we go. And we'll select SD card memory. And then, yes, first of all, let me show you this. NES Mini. I'm glad I didn't buy that uh, Nintendo Classic because look, these are all the games that are on the Nintendo Classic. And I. And. I can't speak English. <laughs> and I actually put all the games on it. So it's over 30 games. Certain regions of the world. So such as Asia will get um, different games than on uh, the North American or the European version. And these games run rather well. Ah, Ghosts and Goblins. Here we go. <laughs> Which is Ghouls and Ghosts, by the way, if you didn't notice. And we'll see how this runs. And let's see. Which is a great port of the arcade game anyway. I used to love this game as a kid. Here we go playing one handed again. Oh, lost my armor. And this runs smoothly. Perfect emulation. Or so, so, so as much as I can see anyway. I know there's going to be somebody out there going, No, it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. But it runs well enough for me. Anywho, let's escape out of that by pressing mode and start again. And we'll go back. And back again. Now it plays Nintendo games great, but check this out. Yes, arcade games. I play Capcom play system games really well. Let's try CPS. Oh, let me show you this too. You can actually, if you get the right files, or name your JPEG files, the um, files of the games, you can actually have screenshots for each one. So anyway, these are some of the games. Let me show you. 1941. Here's the interesting thing right here. 1941. But you have to map the buttons, by the way, because when it displays, the original arcade game is vertical rather than horizontal. So unfortunately, we can't switch this and play the game or, um, vertically, rather. But I got some change quarters today. And it's an actual arcade version. Which is hard enough to play, let alone one-handed, but... It fills up the screen perfectly, which is awesome. Alright, we're gonna show you some of the other games we have on here. Let's exit out of that. Also, hitting the B button will let you exit as well. Obviously, I didn't put all of the, <laughs> the games on here, but check this out. But eventually, I will have all my screenshots and stuff like that. Yes, that's Street Fighter 2. And yes, blah blah blah, this is not for the United States, I don't think. For use in all countries but the United States. It's a good thing I live in East Bratislava, Slovenia. Not the United States. Okay, I live in the United States, but... A little bit of slowdown here or there. But it's got six buttons, which will let you have all your punches and all your kicks. And this is definitely not a game for one-handed. But, no slowdown at all. Also, I can see. Yeah, it works rather well. Graphics look great. For that, just that little bit of money, you have yourself an arcade emulator. Now, let's get out of this menu. Go back into the SD memory. 
get back to games, and it'll play Game Boy games. And actually, it'll let you alphabetize these. And put them in separate folders instead of having a big clump of games. You can actually break it down by system, by alphabet, and valid for file format. What did I do? <laughs> Okay, what is that? Crystal Quest. Okay. Let's try Conja. And that works. It gets your black and white Game Boy fix going on here. And it does play rather well. And the graphics aren't that bad at all. Alright, now here's what it doesn't tell you it does, but check this out. Game Boy Color Games? Alrighty. I'll pick a random one. Alright, maybe not so random, but random enough. It will play Game Boy Color Games. Although... <laughs> on the phone camera you may not be able to see the color but yeah there it is alrighty it is in color look at that I'm gonna pick a new game Yeah, they look kind of weird, uh, blown up like that, but, all right, skip the story. It's a lot of story in this game, huh? <laughs> but yeah, full color. Alrighty. Anywho, let's get to, uh, maybe we'll do an action type game. Alright, let's try this one. This might be a better uh, example of this Game Boy Color. Not bad, huh? And it plays these Game Boy games no lag at all. Not bad at all. Not bad. But there's more. Alrighty. Check this out. Game Boy Advanced. Alrighty. Get you a good game on here. Actually. Try this. Maybe not the Now this may be not the best uh, example of gameplay, but that's a 3D rendered model. Not bad. And as you can see, it doesn't seem like to be any slowdown. Not bad at all, as I get my ass busted. Alrighty, and here's something else interesting. I don't know why anybody would do this, but it's a fun distraction. It plays Game Boy Advance Video, which is just uh, Game Boy's way of saying, hey, look, we play videos too, PSP. Anywho, I'm going to show you what it looks like. 
doesn't look too great, but it plays. Not compatible with Game Boy Color. But it works. I'm going to choose the first one and let you see what it looks like. And it plays the show. It actually looks better, believe it or not, uh, on the camera. I mean, in real life. In real life, is rather pixely. But on the Game Boy itself, it doesn't look too terrible. My daughter will come in and watch these shows on there. And she loved it. Just wanted to show you that. On to more games. Alrighty. Now it says online that you can play main games, which are arcade games and Neo Geo games. But I have not yet gotten one to uh, actually load. We're going to try it again. Random game. Actually, we got 1942 here. Let's try that. Leave it alone. Maybe. Nope, invalid for a minute. And let me stop my watch for a second. Which it won't shut up. There we go. Invalid format, see what I mean? Sorry about that. Alright, let's get back into it. Get out of there. Out of that menu. Alrighty. Back in the games. And the Neo Geo does not work as well. Pick a random game. There we go. I'll try it out. Invalid file format. Which I don't know. But so far, a lot of the games that I've tried to work on it. Alrighty. We saw NES before. I actually played NES games on the system. Ten Yard Fight is a game that's on the system. And yes, it's the same as that game. And it works. Blah, blah, blah. But let's get out of there. I'm not going to show you many Nintendo games because everybody's seen what Nintendo games look like. Sorry about all the jump cuts. I'm back. I actually had to help my mom find her uh, Tetris game on her Android emulator. Alrighty. Now here's the Sega Genesis games. And I think we're going to go to S, just to show you Sonic the Hedgehog, because that's like the ultimate test. And I can't spell. It's on here. Alrighty. Yes, that is Super Mario World, by the way. We'll get back to that. That's a boot loop run. Yes, overcomes before P. Alright, ready. This right here is Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's try that out. It plays rather well as well. Sometimes it's too fast. Which it could be a problem. On some of these Sega games. As you can see, no slowdown. It was actually running pretty well. I forgot this is Sonic 1. Durr. Alrighty. Well, there you go. And I'll show you some Super Nintendo games. Alrighty. Super Nintendo. Let's try Donkey Kong Country. And it runs it slow at points. 
but not all the time. It's hit or miss, but then again, you have a Super Nintendo. Until Nintendo comes out with their uh, Super NES Classic, if they ever do, this is what you got to play. It's cheaper than buying a PC for emulation. And you have so many different games for so many different consoles you can play in here. And as you can see, it looks pretty good still. Anyway, you want to see me play one-handed, which is horrible. Now, some mode saving games like um, Super Mario Kart or FX games like Star Fox, they use the FX chip, will not work. Mario Kart will load, but Star Fox, on the other hand, invalid file format. Even though it's the same format as all the other games on here. Doom will not work. Let's try one of the newer Super Nintendo games. Invalid file format, which is weird. But Street Fighter 2, on the other hand, does work. Notice how it just speeds up. So it actually makes Street Fighter 2, the original game, into Street Fighter Turbo. But it's still fun as hell to play. Well, there you have it, my mini review. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't see why you would. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And, um, well, this is just my start of this. I'm going to go deeper into it eventually. Work out all the bugs, work out all the games that work on this system. And we will get back to you. Hope you try it out. It's really cheap. I've seen it for $29 places. It's comparable to the same price for, and I actually, I bought mine on eBay for 7 bucks, so it's way worth it. But for $30 to $59, you can't go wrong. And it plays arcade games that you may not have played. By the way, this is Alien vs. Predator, and it runs smooth. Alrighty, have a good one. Keep playing. Electronic gizmos and games that fly just under the radar of the general public.